Effective communication in the workplace is a habit, just as ineffective communication is. Often people get stuck in organizations because of bad communication patterns, and these types of patterns and habits can be really hard to break. The best way to overcome a bad habit is to create a new one and repeat the new habit over and over and over again so that it creates new neural pathways in your brain. If you find that you're bad at communication or that things seem to slip through the cracks or there's misunderstandings, the only way to get better is to practice clear, intentional communication repeatedly. Repetition strengthens the neural pathways in the brain that correlate with that habit. The more you do a bad habit, the harder it will be to break it. But if you create a good habit and you repeat it continuously, it'll be difficult to backtrack because you're retraining your brain. So make it a goal for yourself to communicate with intelligence, to communicate with intent, to be clear, to close the loop, to follow up and to document what you're communicating about so you're empowered and the people you're communicating with are empowered. Commit to small actions that are manageable and that you can count on yourself to do every day. For example, the next time you have a conversation for action, start the conversation with your why. Why is this action or request important to you? What will the request solve? and complete the communication with the definition of success. What does it look like to complete this task or action successfully? And by when does it need to be done? Once your conversation is complete, ask the receiver, the person you're talking to, what they heard was important in the project, why it's important, what's the actual task that needs to get done, and by when they understand that it needs to be done, and what does success look like. This reiteration process allows you to close the loop and leave yourself and the other empowered. If you need to, you can ask them to send you an email of what their action steps are. When you ask people to send an email, it connects the dots in the prefrontal cortex that the assignment is theirs. As you make requests with people, practice the four-step process. Build it and make it a healthy habit. Every time you practice that habit, you build repetition. And remember, repetition is the key to creating healthy habits. Use your communication intelligence to empower yourself and others to thrive. Best of success.